Until recently, if you did something like this, it would be at least a year before you could do something like this. But health officials this month changed that in the face of the coronavirus, with its stay-at-home orders leading to widespread cancellations of blood drives. We've actually been working on changes in our donor deferral policies over the past, we, we continually work on them, but over the past number of months, there were a number of things uh, that were essentially in the works. Um, and this emergency essentially accelerated uh, the need for us to get those through uh, the pipeline towards uh, uh, completion. The Food and Drug Administration now requires just a three-month wait to donate blood for people who got a tattoo or piercing, for men who've had sex with other men, or for people who travel to countries where malaria is rampant, actions previously thought to endanger the blood supply. It comes at a time when American Red Cross CEO Gail McGovern says her organization has seen blood supplies plummet. We are seeing schools, businesses, college campuses close. And that is a source for the American Red Cross's blood supply. Um, and as a result, more and more blood drives are getting canceled. Red Cross officials said they have been able to meet demand for now. But Mark says the new guidelines are needed to make sure the blood is always there. Even though the change came in response to an emergency, Mark said he expects it will be permanent. The recommendations for uh, that I told you about for Kreuzfeld Jakob, for malaria, and the ones for uh, blood donation to prevent uh, the transmission of HIV, like for the one for MSM and tattoos, um, those will stay in place um, unless, unless there were to be some finding uh, that there was something that uh, said that they are, there was a safety concern, we fully expect those to be uh, permanent. And he said the new rules modeled after existing policies in Canada and the United Kingdom are safe. In Washington, Gabriella Collage, Cronkite News.